let's go ahead and look at this. If we look into our zombie, make sure to like, yeah. First of all, I'd make sure to make your class entity. Make sure to extend entity mob. Now your constructor, you can copy right out of the zombie. Just, just take this and paste it in here into your entity, into your own entity. Make sure to change the name. But uh, we're gonna pass in the world world. Now it's gonna super world. That's pretty much just gonna put the entity inside the world. Then texture equals. Um, make sure this is some kind of your texture. Like you make a texture. And since we have a biped uh, model, this is going to be the texture is going to be exactly the same as your avatar skin. Now, if we look into MCP Eclipse Client Bin, I have a Blockium monster here, and that is actually my uh, my Minecraft skin that I just put in here because I didn't feel like making a new one. So yeah, that's my Minecraft skin. You can use your Minecraft skin. You just plop it in here. Now remember, this only works if you're using the model biped. If you're using a model for a pig or something, they have totally different skins. They have, I mean, it's just it's just colored in different spots, and it yeah, just if you're gonna make a pig or something of that sort and use a model of a pig, make sure to copy the pig's texture and change that. Okay, so now that we have texture done, yeah, make sure to put backslash and dot png. Next one, we're going to move speed. This is how fast you want your entity to move. Now, zombies are at 0.5, so they're half as slow or half as fast as um, as your normal player. Now, I'm in my 0.8, so it still can't catch up to me if I'm running away from it, but it's faster than a zombie. And the next attack strength, this is, I think, the number of half hearts that it damages you. Zombies are, I think, 4... Yes, four, but I made mine one just for testing purposes because I don't want to die. You can, if you put this up to I think twenty, it's like instant death if you're not wearing armor. I mean, it's yeah, it just, just put it up to whatever you want. Next, what we're gonna need is this is this is necessary because this is an abstract class from um, Entity Mob, so you have to override this. Now, what you're gonna do is just type this in, just public int get max health. And this is how much of the max health you want it to have. Now, um, uh, I mean, that's pretty much its health. I think that's in half hearts. I'm not really sure. But Empty Zombie has 20. I just copied that right out of there. So, next, online update. Pretty much all entities that are mobs have this as um, have this in their online update. That's pretty much if the world, if there's, if it's daytime, and the world is not a multiplayer world, well then, um, the entity, um, I don't know, the entity like figure out how much, what's the brightness around it. Now I think it minus is 1.0 f. I'm not sure because 1.0 f is a glowstone brightness, but mobs do not die around glowstone. They only die around sun because sun is a lot brighter than glowstone. So, if F, so I think that's like it minuses out the 1.0 F. So if it's still greater than 0.5 F after mine after the minus 1.0, so be 1.5 F, then and the world and the world can see the sky. So if the mob can see the sky and the brightness is, oh, that's it. Okay, okay. So this, yeah, just disregard what I just said about the 1.0 F. So, if pretty much like uh, this is this is the brightness of what the entity's in, and if the brightness is greater than 0.5 F, and you can see the sky, like if the uh, if the mob can see the sky, then they start burning. This is the fire method. We already went over that one. Now this only happens if it's daytime. Remember that, and. Then it goes on, super on living update. You actually need this in your entity class because if not, your monster will just simply sit there and they'll just spaz out. They won't move, they won't do anything. So you absolutely need to override this on living update class. You can put it here. If you don't want them to burn, you can just simply like, you can just comment this out if you want. Or just whatever. Just You absolutely need to override this class.
like this, or you might as well just stay there and do nothing. Next, we're going to go into protected I int get uh, drop I eh, get drop item ID. This is what it drops. So I just made a drop our uh, food that we made, blocking him nom noms. That's like our blocking cookies. So that means when you kill it, this is what it drops. That's I guess fairly self-explainable. And the last thing is a protector string, get living sound, get hurt sound, and get death sound. You don't need these at all if you want your mob to just be quiet. But for, I guess, testing purposes, I just made it into gas sound since you don't find gas in the real world. And I was kind of looking for the mob, so gas sounds would kind of track me that mob. I would know that it's there. So this is purely for, um, um, purely for testing purposes. Now you can make your own custom sounds, but you will need to um, download the audio mod, and I don't really feel like getting into that right now. So yeah. Now where I found this is if you go to Entity Gast, I just simply get Living Sound, get Hurt Sound, get Death Sound. I just copy it right out of here and paste it, paste it in here. Now you can change these. You can do Mop Gat. You can do Mop Chicken. If we look into Zombie, they have their own sound, so we can just do you know. We can just copy this. So get Living Sound. Let's see. Uh, get death sound. We can just copy this. Oh, return. Let's go ahead and copy that. So on death sound, it would return a zombie death sound. You can change this up between different mobs. It doesn't really matter. This is just, like I said, it's just for testing purposes. So now that if we save that, you should have these entity blocky monster uh, class. Both of them, they shouldn't be red anymore. You should not have any more errors. So, I mean, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to test it out. So, Let's go ahead. And remember, if you made a monster, they only spawn during the night. That's their base entity mob, like, attribute. So I made a creative world that has, um, that's in the dark. And you can see, since we set our spawn rate way up, you can see, wait, let me actually maximize this. Since we put our uh, spawn rate all the way up to 100, you can see there's a lot of those mobs. And... I'm in creative, so they don't notice me right now. That's just a creative attribute. If I were in survival right now, they would be attacking me. Like, same with the creepers. If I go next to a creeper in creative mode, they don't notice me. Like, see? <laughs> if I hit them, though, they come after me. Same with these. Let's go ahead and... And we hear that gas sound. Ah... And if I were not in creative mode, he would probably kill me, but not really, because he only does one damage. And he dropped some cookies, so that's good. Um, I mean, that's ah, that's pretty much it. We can, oh, actually, we can... Let's, I'll show you one more thing. Let's go ahead and exit out of this. Now let's look into Entity... Whoops. Entity Skeleton. And Entity Skeleton has Get Held Item. So let's go ahead and Item Stack Get Held Item. Let's copy that one. Well, actually, let, let me highlight this and this. Oops. Okay, I guess you can't do that. So let me get Get Held Item. Let me paste it down here. And Static, static Field. Okay, so... Um, get held item here. Do I not have it declared? It's going to skeleton. Get held item. Whoops. Held item. Default held item. Um. Huh. It never... Does this extend... Yeah, it extends mob. Okay. So let's go ahead and where seriously where is this? Why is this giving me an error? Cannot be resolved to a variable. So okay, I I got this. So let's go ahead and outside or static on bottom or out, you can do it on top. We can do a per public static final item stack. Um, equals, wait, let's call it just held item equals new item stack. 
And what do you, what do you want it to hold? Uh, let's go a uh, item diamond. No, not just a diamond sword. Diamond. And there you go. So it holds a diamond sword and one. How many of you want it to hold? Just 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 one. So we can get rid of this since we just made our little static right there. And this is gonna return held item. So make sure this is not in a method. Me uh, method. Make sure this is outside in the class area, so it's it's not inside of one of these. It's just outside in the method by itself. And um, held item. Yeah, you just want to return held item, whatever you call this right here, and it's going to return a sword diamond. So let's go ahead and save that. Now this will not change its damage, even though he's wearing a diamond sword. It's just purely aesthetic purposes. Oh, let's let's look. Where did all of them go? Here you are. And see, when you look at him, he's wearing a diamond sword now. So am I. Haha, <laughs> let me maximize this again. But, like I said, it does not affect his damage at all. It's simply aesthetic purposes. And, um, the only thing that affects his damage is that entity damage that we set before, which I set to 1 on this mob. But he's not strong. Now again, remember, they will burn if they're mobs, they will burn in the sunlight unless you set it to off, and they will only spawn during the night. So, if you're debugging this and you can't find your monster, wait until the night, they will start spawning, and whatever. Make sure to mess around with the, with your little spawn rates also, because you don't, I mean, this is not really fair, having this many of them spawn. So, yeah. Let's look at, uh, are there any creepers around? There's, no. Where are all the other monsters? There's a zombie, so we're gonna see if the sun burns a zombie. Burn zombie, burn. Okay, you see? The sun reached the farthest one first. So they're burning like normal mobs would. So that skeleton, so that zombie. Once the sun gets high enough, there you go, there goes that zombie. So they do burn. You can, you can set that off into the entity living, so you can just like, where, the, where there's the fire method. Oh, we gave him more health, so he does not. <laughs> the fire is not enough to kill him. Okay, that's cool. Um, I mean, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much all I have. I showed you the default health item. Showed you the health, how to create it. I know this is just the, the basic uh, biped model, by the way. I'm not going to get into models. I hate modeling. I absolutely hate it. So I'm not going to get into that, but... Um, yeah, have fun making your mobs and making them, making creatures and maybe water creatures. Because we all know that uh, Minecraft needs more water creatures. Not this pig right here. Um, so yeah, if you liked the video, make sure to like it down below. Uh, if you have comments, make sure to put it in the comment section. If you have errors and suggestions, do not put it in the comments. Do not PM me about them. Make sure to go to that minecraftforum.net link that will be below in the description. Put it in there. Because, I mean, I love you guys. The feedback I've gotten from the series is absolutely amazing. But there's just, like, it just got so big that way too many people are messaging me with their errors and suggestions that I just couldn't keep track of it anymore. So, um, if you put it on that forum, I do read the forum every day, many, many times a day. So, if you put it on there, I will read it and I will add it to my to-do list or I will help you with your error. But it's just a way more organized way to uh, to help you guys than by YouTube. Um, I mean that's yeah that's my uh, that's my little rant I guess. Um, so yeah, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe for more videos, more tutorials like this. I will be doing let's plays. I will plan on doing my redstone tutorial tonight, and my hardcore series is going to be out tonight probably. So watch out for that. And uh, yep, yeah. thanks for watching. See ya.